Sora is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Or he isn't. Or he totally is. Well, let's talk about the news. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. And before we start, I really want to say I just saw the new Sonic movie. I have a lot of thoughts on this. I thought it was, well, in one word, fast. Um, I really want to talk about all of this, so I'll do a review of the Sonic movie when I'm able to do it, when I'm, you know, allowed to say things about it. But keep an eye out for that, because it was an experience, and I really want to share with you guys what I think of the Sonic movie. Now, let's move on to the news of today, and that is whether Sora from Kingdom Hearts can actually be in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And yes, Square Enix and Disney and all that kind of stuff, they've all kind of spoken out. There's people who made a lot of videos on this in the past day, and I wanted to touch upon this situation, because I love Kingdom Hearts. I love the whole franchise, I love the characters, I love the whole setting, and I especially love Kingdom Hearts as a potential Smash Brothers crossover because I feel if you're gonna cross over with Square Enix, I feel like you have to do Kingdom Hearts as well because it's one of their other huge franchises, right? So I'm really excited about the idea that Sora could get into Super Smash Brothers. There might be a few caveats, but I'll explore them all in this video. There's a lot of news to get through here. I mean, everyone's put out their opinion pieces and there should be a little bit of info inside here. So I really want to uncover the truth behind Sora in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and I want to do that together with you guys in this video. And I've been answering many of you guys' questions about Smash Ultimate and new fighters in our show Question Blocked, where I answer your questions. What do I think of your favorite game? How do you start making videos on YouTube? Well, whatever you can think of, send your questions through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com, and I will answer your question live on the show in one of our next Question Blocked episodes. And here's a brand new giveaway. You can win one of these Super Mario Surprise capsules from Tomy. Any Mario item, Yoshi, or character could be inside. I leave them closed so you can find out what's inside when you win. I'm giving away four of these, so remember to like this video, subscribe to Block Content right now, and comment down below to enter for the giveaway. All right, guys, let's get right on into the news and I just want to give a big shout out to Matt from our blocked content community for uncovering a lot of this information. Well, the first piece of info actually comes from Nintendo Enthusiast and this is really really interesting, okay? He says, Imran Khan, Nintendo wanted Sora in Smash Brothers and Disney vetoed it. So this was posted by John Friskia, and he actually says Square Enix plus Disney plus not Nintendo, right? He says on the latest episode of the Kinda Funny Games cast, journalist and host Imran Khan casually dropped a bomb. He says Nintendo did not indeed target Sora from Kingdom Hearts for Super Smash Bros. Presumably Super Smash Bros. Ultimate at some point. Nintendo absolutely approached Disney about it once, said Khan, but Disney Japan specifically got in the way of making this collaboration a reality. And the video is queued up to 28 minutes below where the relevant details unfold, so you can actually watch that too and kind of hear the comments for yourself. I think it's funny because I've heard a lot about this Imran Khan guy, I've listened to a lot of these things where he supposedly outs all these Nintendo secrets and Smash stuff, you know, he does that over the years too, um, not too much as it, you know, gotten completely right, so it's funny to dive into this and kind of see what this will come to pass because it could actually be true this time and I'll be shocked, right? Disney does obviously have a large presence in Japan considering the likes of Tokyo Disney Resort, but as Dual Shockers notes, they don't have any corporate offices there. Thus, it would be strange if Disney Japan specifically were the entity that had the veto power in rejecting Sora for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Still, Khan is a trusted journalist with many years of experience under his belt with the likes of Game Informer, so his intentions can be trusted. In any case, even if this story is true, it does not preclude the possibility that Disney could change its mind in the future. Nintendo and fans alike would be happy to hear it. For that matter, even Square Enix would probably be pleased, having already given Cloud and the hero to Smash. At present, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is gearing up for Fighter Pass Volume 2, which will include six brand new DLC characters that have already been chosen by Nintendo. Who will show up in that group is anyone's guess, but if we believe Imran Khan, Sora won't be among them. And actually, let's just dive into this a little bit more. Let's just go even deeper in this, because ScreenRant.com also notes, 
Smash Bros. Ultimate, Nintendo attempted to get Kingdom Hearts' Sora into the game. A new report from a known industry insider has ousted that Nintendo had approached Disney to get Sora from Kingdom Hearts into Smash Bros. And this is by Riley Little. So saying gamers the world over are rooting for their character of choice to join Super Smash Bros. Ultimate to go toe to toe with some of gaming's biggest icons. And chief among them is none other than Sora from Kingdom Hearts. While fans have long considered Sora a likely candidate for inclusion, a recent report states that Nintendo attempted to get the character to join the fray at one point and presumably failed. The Nintendo-owned fight title has included a number of major stars over the years, but there's never a shortage of dream matchups that gamers are hoping to see. One of the best examples of dreams coming true for Smash fans was present in the Ultimate's first Fighters Pass, where it was revealed that Banjo and Kazooie were joining Smash after years of fan demand, despite being owned by Xbox. Other surprises have included the addition of Sonic the Hedgehog, Mega Man, Snake, Cloud, Ryu, and other gaming icons as the series grew out of being a battleground strictly for Nintendo heroes and villains and into a broader reflection of the gaming industry as a whole. Of course, there's always someone new to add that fans will push, right? So one of the fan favorites still missing in action is none other than the aforementioned Sora. Many are actually wondering just what has held the character back from inclusion thus far given how much overlap there appears to be in Smash Brothers and the Kingdom Hearts fan bases. But former senior editor at Game Informer and Kinda Funny co-host Imran Khan confirmed in a recent Kinda Funny predictions video that Nintendo had pursued Sora for Smash Brothers in the past. Evidently, a deal couldn't be made. This is a direct quote, they absolutely approached Disney about getting Sora into Smash Brothers once, stated Khan. This is then prompted a question from Kinda Funny's Blessing Adioye Jr. about whether it was Disney preventing the crossover from happening. Khan then stated, yes, Disney Japan specifically. Those hoping to catch the segment can check out the video themselves. Several things do need to be noted about this news before fans begin writing off Sora from inclusion. Namely, Khan never specified when this discussion took place, which means it could have occurred prior to the release of Ultimate or even something attempted during the DLC phase for Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. Another point is that Khan also made the prediction on whether Sora or Halo's Master Chief would be joining the fray as DLC in Smash Bros. Ultimate's newly announced Fighters Pass Volume 2, which shows that even he isn't ready yet to rule out the Keyblade user. As for the mention of Master Chief by Khan, the stars may be aligning for Spartan 117. With Banjo getting in and rumors swirling of Halo coming to Nintendo Switch at some point in the near future, it may finally be time to see the face of Xbox square off with the many faces of Nintendo. Plus, the official Halo Twitter account previously pitched Master Chief for inclusion in Smash Ultimate, so nothing seems impossible at this point. Now, there's a lot of reasons why I love this Screen Rant article. Um, it really feels like this is someone doing a book report and trying to like type their way out of getting as, as many words in there as possible to like get a deadline or get like a certain work count. I mean, I should talk, right? A YouTube channel that needs to get to the 10 minute mark. But I mean, the idea here is pretty, I was reading sentences and I was like, well, you didn't need to put 17 words in this. You could have put three. <laughs> um, but I do like the fact here that we're talking about Sora supposedly not coming to Smash but then coming to terms with the fact that maybe this was for a different game entirely, right? Maybe this was for DLC in the Wii U or 3DS version of Smash Brothers. I love that fact too, because yes, I could definitely see them pursuing other characters for a very long time. I mean, that game got very deep into the third party aspect of things, even adding Cloud after the fact in the DLC. I mean, Cloud wasn't a character introduced in Ultimate, it was introduced in the DLC of Wii U and 3DS. So that's absolutely what I love. But if you go down even more of this rumor mill, it starts to become really, really interesting. You can check out a video by HMK on YouTube, um, which actually is linked in the description below, and it's called Why Sora Can Easily Be Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC. So it even includes like stuff from Tetsuya Nomura. So go check that video out too, because it has a lot of information. But definitely watch this thing by Go Nintendo Tweet on Twitter. Go Nintendo has been a reliable source for a lot of things, but reading through these tweets, I kind of laughed a little bit. So they say, rumor, Nintendo approached Disney about adding Kingdom Hearts to Sora to Smash Ultimate, but was shot down. Which then prompts a response from Boundary Break's very own Shizaz, saying, watch the source, it was framed as speculation, not insider information. 
Go Nintendo then comments, Honest question, do you really think it was framed as speculation? I believe the part about Nintendo approaching Disney wasn't presented as speculation at all, but could see how the mention of Disney as the reason for blocking the character was speculation. And Shizes goes on to comment, Yeah, I believe they were all speculating and Khan just spoke with confidence about what he imagines went down. And then going on to say the only thing close to concrete I've ever seen about Disney's stance on Sora on Smash was a YouTuber who went to a Kingdom Hearts event and got the opportunity to meet the president of Disney Japan, who expressed interest but said he'd have to be approached by Nintendo. Go Nintendo then goes on a few rant tweets saying, I could see that being the case, but Khan specifically says they absolutely approached Disney about it once. That definitely reads as more of a fact than speculation to me. Even more so when you consider how he throws the once in there. That leads me to take the statement as fact. By the way, man, totally want to make sure you know this is friendly discussion with me and you. Text has ways of taking out emotion and meaning, not upset or mad at all. Just having a discussion with you, you know I trust your opinion. And then going on to say, any chance you're willing to clarify in your comments, Sora discussion for Smash in the kind of funny vids game pass, when you say Nintendo approached Disney once, were you speaking in terms of speculation or inside info? And that has not in fact prompted a direct response from this person. So I think that this is interesting to see because what Shazess is basically saying, no, he was just saying things. He probably didn't even hear anything. He was probably lying, but he didn't outright state it, but he kind of implied like, I don't believe any of this information is true. And he was just saying things that he might've heard through the grapevine, but this is not any trusted source at all. And also follow on Twitter at the Riley Little, of course, who we discussed in one of our previous Screen Rant things saying, we don't know when this talks happened, point one and point two, the tipster thinks Sora still has a shot in Fighters Pass Volume 2, as does Master Chief. So all of this information, it's interesting. He goes on to say, I'm unconvinced by the attempting to dismiss the report, giving the specifics of the quotes. They absolutely approached Disney about getting Sora into Smash ones. Is Disney preventing it? Yes, Disney Japan specifically. So again, this could have been attempted during the Wii U 3DS era, provided the report is accurate. We also don't know broader implications for Ultimate and even the individual who reported it feels as if Sora is a viable for Volume 2. And Riley Little's take itself, my take Nintendo knows who you want most in Smash and they have a much better understanding than fans because they have a concrete number through Wii U and 3DS poll. If discussions occurred, Nintendo and Disney are now in a better spot to make this happen than they were before. And that I think is a good take. That is a good take to round it off too, because I feel all this information, all of this together kind of says to me, they have at least talked at one point. That much could definitely be true. And Sora could have been in contention for a previous Smash game or right now for Ultimate. This for all we know could be the character that Sakurai was excited about but got vetoed out by Nintendo. I mean that could have happened and maybe it got vetoed out by Nintendo because they didn't get the rights for the character because of either Disney Japan or something else. So this Sora business is awesome but it's also a lot to take in so I'm really curious what you guys think of this. If you comment down below you could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video and today's comment question is do you believe Sora from Kingdom Hearts is coming to Smash Ultimate? And as for a previous comment question winner our answer and this this is a great one, comes from our user, Matt Butler. Thank you, it's a first time comment question winner. He says, I really want Rare Replay to come to the Switch, and I really could see that happening after Sakurai finally made the impossible become possible with adding Banjo and Kazooie as the original Rare rep and Cuphead as a Microsoft rep as a Mii Fighter costume to Smash Ultimate. I really missed playing Donkey Kong Country, Country 2, Diddy Kong Racing, and Donkey Kong 64. Never gotten the chance to play Donkey Kong Country 3 yet, since I didn't even knew about Back then, that there was a third game of the Donkey Kong Country franchise series. When I used to have the SNES and the Nintendo 64, that I could play those games a lot, and I've never played the Killer Instinct games and even Conquer's Bad Fur Day before, and if this would actually become a real impossible that it could be announced in a future Nintendo Direct, I would really like to see the games that have multiplayer or a versus mode to have online multiplayer also, since it would be more fun to play multiplayer on the Nintendo games made by Rare with others through online instead of just only local multiplayer. And it would also be a great way to get the play past favorite rare games anytime and any place on the Switch, especially if some of these won't be coming to SNES Online and the soon to be possible Nintendo 64 Online that I'm predicting will be added to the Switch in 2021. 
Callum and the rest of Blot Content Crew. If you see my comment, I'm a big fan of your videos and your work, especially for the Smash Ultimate DLC leaks and rumors and the Nintendo Direct rumors. And I can't wait to see more videos from you guys. Keep up with the amazing work and always keep us informed for any new info for the upcoming Nintendo Directs and any new leaks and rumors for Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC to discuss about. So Matt, thank you so much for your sweet comment. And I agree, the idea to bring all those rare games into one package and have all those classic Nintendo rare games, I mean, that has not happened before. And I would love to play through all those Donkey Kong Country games and Donkey Kong 64, maybe add a little bit of flourishes and touches to make it even better or upgrade certain things like textures. That would be incredible for Donkey Kong 64. And Diddy Kong Racing, you know, having handheld, that would be so good. So yes, there's a lot of games in there that I've not played or games that I've only played a little bit of. I was very young when I played Congress Bad for a day for the first time. Um, so I would love to play through it now in my sort of adult self, right? That'll change everything around. And also, thank you so much for your sweet comments at the end of your message. Um, I definitely appreciate it. It really struck a chord with me. And uh, yes, we will continue to bring you news. We will continue to bring you great content. There's also other shows on the way that we're preparing. It's a little bit more difficult than these videos. So please, please stay tuned for that kind of news, but it will be coming. And of course, we'll be doing more Smash Ultimate live streams as well. So thank you so much for sending in your comment. These are always so much fun to read and go through. And of course, a big shout out to our latest Patreon supporters and the super chats during our live streams. You guys make block content possible. So if you wanna have yourself created as a little block content character or join me for a Skype chat or even have your own ideas become animations, well, go to patreon.com slash blocked content. There's a bunch of incredible rewards there and they're waiting just for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the Blocked Content family, hit subscribe now, smash that like button, and ring the bell for notifications, and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered daily to you. So stay tuned for that Sonic movie review, and I'll see you around the corner where there's always more Blocked Content. See ya!